Welcome to Top Solid 7. In this video, we're going to talk about understanding revisions inside of Top Solid 7's integrated PDM environment. To get started, we're going to create a simple part, and then we're going to create a draft document for it. And then we're going to check it into the vault, we're going to validate the designs to close the major revisions, and then we will create new changes and see how that all affects all the linked documents. Let's get started. Here I'm going to create a new part. I'm going to call this uh, fixture block. Why not? We'll create a simple little part here. It's going to start there. We'll make it 6 by 4. We're going to go ahead and extrude this for maybe 3 quarters of an inch. That'll be great. Um, I'm going to put some chamfers on as well. Perfect. And that's our part. Okay. From here I'm going to go ahead and create a draft document. I'm going to use one of my standards. Like that you see all my views. Um, maybe we'll project some annotations. Why not? That gives us the length and width of that. Perfect. Okay, so we've made our drawing. We've made our 3D part. And now we're going to talk about revisions. So, right now, both parts are brand new. I know this because of the plus sign right here. That means they're brand new. They're on major version A, minor version 0. Okay? So what we're going to do here is we're going to check these in. I'm going to check my draft in and watch what happens. When I check my draft in, it's telling me everything else that should be checked in at the same time. I'll validate. And now we get these little lock symbols. The lock symbols mean that the documents have been checked in. Now, I can rotate this around, I can look at it, do whatever I want, and it stays as checked in. And on the client server version, uh, this would mean that you're looking at the part but you're not necessarily have it checked out for modifications. To check something out for modifications, you can go here and check out for edit. That's via right click. You can also just go make a change. For example, if I double click here, it brings the driving elements up for that extrusion. And notice it's made fixture block minor version 3. Cool. Let's go edit the sketch. And here what I'd like to do is maybe add some half inch fillets in here. Oops, pardon me. I created a new sketch. Here I'd like to add some half inch fillets. Like that. Everything else has been maintained. So maybe what I'd like to do now is save this. As soon as I hit save and I hit control S, sorry I'm a hotkey guy, notice I get this symbol here telling me that this document needs to be updated. And to update it, all we need to do is go here and now it's updated. And notice also the dimensions have shown up automatically as we made our changes. Pretty cool. Now from here, let's say we check in all of this again. The act of checking in validates the latest minor revision. Okay. Now let's say that we're done with this design. So we think. So we're going to validate it. So we go to our life cycle and we hit validate. Validation locks the major revisions. So now major version A for both documents is closed. No more changes can be applied to it. Now let's see what happens if we go and make a change. Maybe I want to create a sketch up here. And boom, major version B for our fixture block was created. Okay? And uh, minor version 0. And you know what, real quick, I'm going to close this one because I don't want to have confusion uh, during this next part. So, or I don't want to confuse you during this next part. So we have major version B, minor version 0 now. So let's go create our sketch up there. And maybe I'll create a drilling pattern, why not? So here I'm just going to snap to a couple of places. 
Then we'll add some dimensional constraints as well. I like 875. Half inch is beautiful. Make that a half inch. I'll make that 875. Perfect. What I'm going to do now is create a drilling group. And maybe these will be tapped holes following an ANSI standard. We'll say that they are quarter twenties. Um, depth of tapping is half inch. If I go to hole, uh, I'm going to set my depth to be manually for the drilling. You can see the change there. And we'll say OK. Uh, using points to create a custom drill pattern is sometimes the fastest, most efficient way to work, by the way. So we've made all these changes. We've added all this. I've hit save. I'm going to go ahead and check this in. Now, one might think that the act of checking this in should flag the drawing over here that a new change has been made. And that's not actually the case. Why? Well, how do we know, or how does the software know, that your intention with major version B is to reuse the same draft file? Maybe you're going to create a different draft file based on the changes of version B and maintain two different draft files, one for version A, one for version B. Who knows? Uh, maybe you're not going to use a draft file at all. Maybe this is just something you're banging together and you don't care about a draft file. At the end of the day, we never force a major revision update on any validated designs. Okay, it's up to you to do, but it's really easy. Go to Fixture Block, uh, your draft document here, right mouse button click, and say Redirection uh, and Redirect References on Last Major Revision. Okay, and now it says it's possible. You can validate. Notice it's checked out. Version B has been made. If we go and open this block, you'll see that our drilling information has been added. Okay? And just because I'm here, something fun about our standard dimension tool, if I go in here and I zoom up and I select this feature right here, notice that with my regular dimension tool, it's also smart enough to annotate just by selecting the feature. And just to show you what I mean, if I go here to here, of course I get a dimension. If I select a drilled hole, it gives me the drilling information. So hopefully this makes sense and shows you different ways of working with revisions inside of Top Solid 7. And as well, just to show you some other fun things you can do here, let's go ahead and check this in. And checking in is only required if you want to increase the minor revision, by the way. Let's say you wanted to see version A's draft file. Just double click on it. Here's version A. So even if your intention was to maintain these, Top Solid 7's PDM automatically maintains these and you can still use them whenever you desire. Hopefully you found this uh, video to be informative and you learned a thing or two about PDM and both major and minor revisions. Have a wonderful day and thanks for watching.